Hello everyone, my name is Void Doctor, and welcome back to another episode on the Infinity Craft server. And today we're starting out this episode in the mountain town, or currently it's just a mountain house that we started last episode. And before we start making this town feel a lot more townly, I don't know if that's a word, but that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to make this place start to feel a lot more like a town. Um, I just like to recap a little bit of the off-camera progress I've made. It's not a bunch. It's not you know a lot of stuff. Uh, first of all, I moved all the chests and shulkers inside. I don't actually remember if I did that last episode or not. I might have been on camera last episode, but I don't remember. And I put them in the attic in here. I just put some barrels and things in here because this is probably going to be my main sort of like outpost here, sort of where I have all my storage and stuff. So that's why there's like a furnace in there, just some essentials, so I don't have to go all the way back to the base. Even though that is through the Nether. Speaking of the Nether, I moved the portal down to a cool little cave here. Uh, just for the purpose of aesthetics, yeah, I just think it looked kind of awful here. It, it, it really detracted from the look of this area, so I think having it down in the cave looks quite nice. And I also put this little lamppost here. It just has kind of an example for what I want to use throughout the rest of the town, because um, we're going to need some sort of lamppost or some sort of lighting option. And in, um, in Westall, it makes sense to use carpets because and, and moss carpets because the grass is green so it makes sense to use those blocks because it kind of blends in but here it doesn't because um snow isn't green and white carpet would just look kind of funky and i also think it just adds to the aesthetic here so i just whipped up this cool little lamppost here and it's kind of i just use it to kind of prevent mobs from spawning right here since a lot of mobs are spawning right here and also underneath this house however that's not something i'm really going to be able to deal with very easily because that's going to involve lighting up the underside of the house which isn't going to look great so i don't really know how i'm going to deal with that but we'll come to that at a later date now the first thing I'd like to do is just do a bit more mining of the Guardian Temple. There really isn't a reason or a purpose for this because, to be honest, um, I already have quite a large quantity of um, Prismarine, as we can see if I just go into my little storage room up here. Um, yeah, quite a large... That's not Prismarine. That's Prismarine. Yeah, quite a large quantity of Prismarine, but I just want to make that whole place hollow just for the purpose of making it all. I honestly don't have a reason other than because I want that whole place to be hollow. Um, I just realized none of the windows of this massive house face... Oh, no, they do. They do. We can see the sunset. But I want eventually I want to put a dormer in here once I stop being lazy. I want to put a dormer right here so we can like uh, look out through a dormer on the cool sunset. But, um, yeah, I already have quite a lot of Prismarine, but I want to do a bit more Prismarine riding at the Guardian Temple. So, I've established a bit of a nether highway, and let's hop in the nether. In other news, as we make our way to the Ocean Monument, I finally installed a replay mod. Um, yeah, it was quite easy. It's just, I, I, I've, I'm always kind of scared of installing mods for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I, I, I don't know. It, it's like a, uh, I, I honestly have no excuse. I just should have installed this long ago, but it's so cool. I love it. So, um, when we start doing some building time lapses later in this episode, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna be using the replay mod. So I hope you all enjoy that. And right now I think we should actually do some prismarine mining in the form of a third person time lapse. So enjoy the replay mod goodness. Also, just before we start the time lapse. 100% would recommend to every small or to every content creator watching this to use the replay mod instead of a second camera account. First of all, it's free. I made the mistake of buying a second camera account. That's $26 versus free, and the replay mod's actually a lot easier to use. You just like press a button and it starts recording, and then you just go and like edit your, you know, your like cameras in later, like your flying cameras. It's so cool!
Okay, so I'd say that was a pretty successful mining trip, and, um, <laughs> we're never going in there. We're never, we're never, we're never yeah, no, 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 we're, ne we're never going in there. We're, we're never clearing out that room. Um, I think that houses every guardian in the entire monument, or at least the entire inside of the monument at this point. Like, look at this room. I can't really stay in here for very long, otherwise I'm going to get lasered. However, I think it's time that we move on to other projects. And what I'd like to move on to is just kind of pl planning the houses and planning sort of, uh, you know, some of the streets and things. Because instead of, unlike Westhold, which was already a village, this town I'm just starting from scratch, which means I have much less of, like, you know, an idea of where the road should go. So... I want to just spend a few, a little, you know, just a little while, kind of planning out where the road should be, stuff like that. So I think we're going to do that next. No time lapses, just a little bit of road planning. And here, I can't really decide what I want the roads to look like. I don't want them to look exactly like what they look like in Westhold because that feels a lot more, um, I don't know, it feels a lot more well maintained. Out here, I want them to feel a lot less, you know, uh, well kept and a little bit more almost like they've fallen into disrepair or maybe just a little bit less nice so maybe we could use because in west hold it's supposed to be like cobblestones combined with path blocks so maybe here we could just use path path blocks or maybe we could use coarse dirt which i do have in decent quantities back at west hold back in my storage hall so maybe a combination of path blocks and coarse dirt let me check that out here yeah, as I said, I have quite a large quantity of coarse dirt. Also, I need to put this prismarine away. Just for kind of the fun of it, I'm just going to throw the guardian head in there. I think that looks funny. Um, fish. There we go. Now everything's sorted away. And I just kind of want to see what this looks like. Just a few blocks of this path design here. Let's see. I'm going to throw in a coarse dirt here. And some path blocks. Oh, I really like how that looks, actually. That, I think that looks really cool. Alright, I think I'm going to continue this, kind of just put it around the place and see how that looks after a little while. And we can probably just use something like oak planks to like step up of it. Uh, I feel like that would kind of ruin the aesthetic. Gosh darn it, Mojang, why don't you just add dirt slabs? Come on, it, they don't have to, have to be in the terrain, just let us make dirt slabs. Don't, that was a joke, that was a joke, that was a joke, don't, don't yell at me in the comments, I don't actually think Mojang should add dirt slabs. So I was just flying around to try and find a patch of pumpkins so I could make a snow golem so I could get snow to make snow layers. Anyway, it's a long story. And I found these guys. Um, don't exactly know where they came from, but they're not traps because there's a lot of them. I'm definitely going to come back here for them at some point. <laughs> what is this, like my sixth snow golem? They, ev they die every night because of mobs, but they're so useful because you just stand here and... Snow layers. Snow layers. Because I use a lot of snow layers. Um, for patching up stuff like that, so it's nice to have an infinite source of snow. Yeah, so perhaps we'll put a house down there, right there, and then maybe up here? Because I'm planning on having the road just kind of go up here, so having a house here wouldn't be too bad of an idea. And after I assemble a little bit of a build shulker box just to get this build sort of started, I think we'll build these houses in the form of a third person time lapse. So enjoy the replay mod time lapse. <laughs>
Okay, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. And I'm actually super happy with how these houses have come together. I think the, um, just sort of the placement of them, just sort of, I don't know, it has some sort of, uh, it, has a it has a quality to it that something like Westhold just will never have. It's also probably just the color palette. But I do think these houses just have a certain aesthetic that I just think looks really cool. So I'm super happy with how these have come together. And before we wrap up the app, this, the <clears throat> English, I, I, I'm, English is a challenging language. <laughs> but before we wrap up the episode, there's one thing that I'd like to do, and that is restock the traveling wagon. I don't think anything is actually out of stock, but there are some things that are low stock. And there's one other thing that I think we can do that might drive sales up the wazoo. So I'll explain all this after I sleep. All right, so it's now morning and the sun is rising over there. And essentially what I want to do is first restock the traveling wagon, but I want to create sort of a traveling wagon newspaper. It's like a, not like a newspaper. It's like a, um, uh, it's, it's kind of like how you can sign up for mailing lists for like Amazon or whatever, but this will just tell you what's in stock. This will tell you all the new stuff that's in stock. And this could really drive sales, or this could lead people to hate the shop entirely. So, I think we should probably test this on an Affinity Crafter. I'm just trying to think of what, uh, of, of who, um, who would be willing to, to uh, shop at the Traveling Wagon. Maybe JL Sailor? We could try that, we could try that. Oh, may yeah, maybe JL Sailor. Um, yeah, so first, we gotta find things to restock the Traveling Wagon with, though. And... FYI, I call it a traveling wagon, even though it doesn't actually travel. It just looks kind of like a traveling wagon. Alright, so the first thing we gotta do is figure out what did sell well, and probably bring that back in stock, because, like, it sold well, so there's probably a high demand for that. So I'm just gonna check all the barrels and see what sold well. So, carrots definitely sold extremely well. That's nice. Alright, so pretty much the only things that sold poorly were stone, cobblestone, and deep slate. So those are the things that we're going to remove from the stock right now. Maybe we'll bring them back later. But um, now I'm going to just think of some things, try and find some things that will probably sell well. And then we'll bring them over to the shop. I could sell rails. Those would probably sell pretty well. I could also sell hoppers because I have quite a few of those. And yeah, I'm also just throwing out some lime green dye because I um, got that from the cactus farm, smelted that, gave me a ton of levels. Yeah, as I say, I have a lot of copper. <laughs> okay, so these are all the things that I've got together in these shulker boxes for the shop. So, these are all the new things that I'm going to bring in. Rails, bone blocks, and campfires. These are some of the things that we had before that just sold really well. Honeycomb and golden carrots. And then copper, obviously, will always sell well because it's copper. So, I think I'm just going to bring these down to the shop. And, of course, rework the prices for the new ones because these are slightly more expensive. So, yeah, going to rework the prices and then we'll work on that little newsletter there. Eventually, in the future, I'd like to do the newsletter with map art because that would just be sick. But right now, don't have the time or the patience to make a giant map art and like a newsletter of my traveling wagon shop. How did you... Oh, you're a... You're a novice. Um, okay. Well, um, no one will ever hear about that. I don't know how that librarian got out, but apparently, um, they, they were probably just an unemployed villager that got out. All right. So I've brought in the new or the old items again. So copper, Carrots, honeycomb, I think these are still very fair prices. I mean, that's four diamonds per 16 copper. That's not bad. I mean, actually, okay, now that, now that I have so much copper, like, that much extra copper, maybe we can lower the price a bit, like, to... Sixteen... Typing, um, two diamonds per 16, that seems a lot more reasonable now that we have so much copper. And then I brought in the new stuff and reworked the prices. So two diamonds per four campfires, uh, three diamonds per eight bone blocks, and 30, and, uh, let's see, two diamonds per 32 rails. The bone blocks, though, I feel like will fly off the shelves because, like, they 
are so useful for growing crops quickly, especially trees. So hopefully those just fly off shelves like no one's watching. So I think the next thing and the last thing we're going to work on is getting this little news read letter ready. English, help me, please. My English teacher is going to find this video and, and they'll be very disappointed in me, unfortunately. But, um... Yeah, so we're going to go re... Or no, we're not going to go rework the prices. No, we're going to go... I think I'm going to do this in the form of a book. And J. Sailor, or JL Sailor is going to involuntarily sign up for this very nice little newsletter. And it's... Yes, it's completely involuntary. It's completely mandatory. There's no way she can get out of doing this. And she's just going to find this at her front doorstep. So, yeah, that's a thing. Also, JL Sailor's base is coming along extremely nicely. Also little gift little gift of uh, peace um but yeah I, i'm really i really think this is an awesome build to be honest also fake blossom with the windmill and she's also reworking her block palette this is all awesome stuff do you see what i mean when i say i have excess copper a stack and six right there and another nine stacks of ingots what is this why do i have so much copper i don't even have a drowned farm or anything i've just been mining it consistently the past four months so maybe that makes a tad bit more sense all right so i have the book and quill but i'm pretty much gonna write the newsletter in a google doc and then copy it into minecraft because that way i can actually copy the text because i'm pretty sure you can't copy text in a book and i want to have tons of copies for all of the infinity crafters so it would just make more sense to have it you know just have it in like a google doc or maybe a word document or something you know the advantages of playing minecraft on a computer you know you can just copy paste everything Okay, so apparently you actually can copy and paste from a book in Quill. So I think I'm just gonna do that and like copy it into a Google Doc. So all future, <laughs> so all future renditions of this book pretty much follow the same like format. So you know, you it's easy to see what the new stock is, what the old stock is, that kind of stuff. All right, so I think I'm actually gonna call it the Spawn Traveling Wagon since that pretty much tells you precisely where it is. And now we're just gonna, I believe, just put this in a lectern or an item frame, maybe at J Sailor's base. And, or jail sailor i always forget what her minecraft username is and of course sign it um newsletter i i think that works maybe put like some fancy things next to it i don't know um uh, i can't click over there ah oh, gosh darn it I just realized I forgot to copy this and put it into a Google Doc, so now I just have to manually copy it and put it into a Google Doc. No copy paste. All right, this slightly levitating item frame should catch her eye enough so that she'll actually read the newsletter. And pretty much next episode, all we're gonna do is see if the sales have, if the shop has any sales actually, because I don't know the the shop tends to, or shops on this server tend to take a little bit to gain you know momentum in terms of sales especially ones like this where the you know the stock is never consistent so i don't know if the um if the sales will take off immediately but maybe this will boost sales so you never know but i think this is actually where we're going to wrap off wrap up today's episode because this is um we're pretty much done with all the things i wanted to do in today's episode and we're leaving off today's episode in front of jail sailor space please everyone can we just take a moment to appreciate the absolute just, just monolith that this base is before we wrap up today's episode anyway my name as always has been void doctor please like subscribe and share if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all next time bye for now